I think Kearney is ready to play, you know, more than that. I don't think he's going to be, he's going to tire. Um, he's not, you know, he was out before that, so he's not that 100% by any means, but he can play one six minutes, I think. I think Bert didn't play bad. Just at the lineup we had, uh, we got stuck a little bit. If you watched him on film, he did a pretty good job. He never got any shots, but he, he did a pretty good job on what he had to do. And Costello, I think, will play some. Um, he did practice over there. Might have been able to play. I mean, I watched him in Bills last night. He gives us that strength and bulk that we're going to need against a big Kansas team. But how long he can go, he's been. You know, he was not a great condition guy to start with just because of his body mass and everything. But he's, uh, he's definitely not as good as he was. He was great. So he might be able to give us two, three minute stretches. And because you lost that game in the first 10 minutes, what kind of emphasis do you put in tomorrow when the same thing could happen? Do you make any sort of. Well, I don't think the same thing will happen. I mean, I think mean, we got off to a bad start with a combination, you know. I mean, he even looked at that first first couple minutes, and even though we gave up some layups, they gave up some layups. I mean, Harris had a breakaway layup, and uh, he missed it. You know, BJ had two left-handed layups, and and uh, um, Appling had one. You know, that's eight points. I mean, that's eight points. Now they weren't as well. Harris's was the other ones weren't as easy a layup, but I mean, BJ's were right on the rim, and. Uh, so, you know, you make a couple of those, you, you, the score is 14 to 11 in your life. You're feeling a lot different than when it's 15 to, to 4. And so, uh, I don't, I am not worried about starting out that way tomorrow at all. I just want to take care of the ball a little bit better. And we had 15 turnovers for the game, we had 13, and just that where ours were and what they led to was so different. And, and yet, I think we had uh, nine. Eight in the first 12, 14 minutes, uh, which means we had, you know, maybe six or seven in the last 30 minutes, which is more normal. Now you said after the game that Adrian kind of tried to play the game the way Draymond did, and, and that's not his little play that position, the way Draymond did. What have your conversations been with him since then, and what, how do you uh, want him to play that position? How do you envision that? Well, I mean, some of it's a problem because, you you know, you, you hope that guy can be a passer, but he's probably as good a shooter. He's just, he's got to get into the post more. He's just got to get down there more. And defensively, he's got to play that. The guy goes around him on that dunk, and he just looked like he was standing still. He was a better athlete than that. I don't care. I don't think Dede can card as well as AP could. Uh, what Dede was is a little smarter to not go out as hard on a guy. Uh, and the guy hit one three later on, but was not really a quick shooter. And uh, he's going to have to figure that part out. And, you know, the second half, I, I don't know what you saw, but he was a lot more aggressive. He made a couple of plays. He looked more like the guy that I think he is. And that's all I talked to him about, you know, that you've got to, we got to play a little smarter. I won't say a, a lot harder defensively. I would say a lot harder offensively. And uh, those two things, and he's got to, uh, how comfortable do you think Valentine would be uh, filling for Trice? Well, Valentine is a little bit like Trice in the fact that he's got some cockiness to him, and, and I, I don't, I don't think he's going to be afraid of anything. Uh, he's a pretty confident kid, um, and there's still a lot of people, you know. I mean, the guy probably is the best passer on the team. It's whether he, you know, he gets a little casual because he was able to do things because of his size and skill in high school, and he thinks that's going to carry over. But now he's going to have a 6'4 guy like Johnson on him, who's bigger than anybody that guarded in high school, and more athletic and is strong and a senior, and those kind of things. So he's going to have to home up to that. But uh, I think he, being a coach's son, I think he understands that. I think he, he realizes, you know, he learns quickly. He has a great... Uh, disposition about the game and he understands the things he's got to do breaking a couple of bad habits it's going to take a little time but uh, I don't worry about him there, I worry a little bit more defensively on whether we can uh, whether he can guard the people that he might have to guard although Kansas is a 
running teams, but I wouldn't say uh, 